I was otherwise occupied when this news broke, so let me go ahead and get this little video out now. Hey guys, this is Jules with True Crime Reactions. Disclaimer, everything stated in this video is my opinion and my opinion only. And just like everything else in these cases we discuss here on this channel, everything is alleged. Okay, so Brian Koberger has officially been moved to Ada County. He's officially in Boise. Now, Brian Inton posted the information on Twitter. So I was dyeing my hair <laughs> and I'm still sitting in my dye whenever that information posted. So I made a community post about it and then finished what I was doing. Now my hair is still currently sitting and everything is just everywhere. So we're just going to do this this way. I just wanted to show you guys how you can see this for yourself. So just go to your search engine and go to Ada County inmate roster. And it's the very first thing that pops up or you can just click on the link that I will have down in the description box. So if you type in Koberger and go to search, his information automatically pops up. You click on it. This is it. That's all that there is so far. This is the picture that I posted. Also, after the information about Brian being transferred, Grizzly True Crime was the first person I saw with the mug shots. I actually checked this earlier today before I posted this video. If y'all haven't heard this insane story yet, the link for that will also be in the description box. Crazy graphic. Just be careful. If you've got a weak stomach, you might not even want to go click on that. That being said, this change took place maybe about half an hour after the last time I checked it. So I wasn't really thinking they were going to do any updates on a Sunday. So that was interesting. But yeah, this is it right here. Now, I know you see this little Vine thing right here. Now, if you click on this, most of you guys know about Vine. I knew about Vine because I have to be on Vine in order to make sure that I get updates on what's going on with my situation with my ex and all of our court cases because the prosecutors do a piss poor job of letting anybody know any updates. Therefore, I have to do my own research. Me and Vine are very well acquainted. So if you go to searching for offender or defendant, you obviously would click in Idaho and you can just go right here to Brian Koberger and just, I mean, you don't have to click on those really. It's just the robot thing. Click on it and it'll tell you right here in Ada County. Now, of course, it says to sign in to see date of birth ID number. I just didn't feel like signing in in order to check this out. But you can see that there's no current status for Latow County and that the record is no longer available. That's only because he's now over here in Ada County. Uh, Ada County Sheriff's Office in custody and then now the case number information that has been transferred over to Ada County. So it does look like it's going to have a completely different case number. Okay. And as you can see here, his jail ID number is 01144082. That's about it. But I just wanted to show you guys it's official. He's booked. I had somebody ask me if you could see it in the actual roster. Yes. Yes, you can. The description box will have the link directly to the apps.adacounty.id.gov so that you guys can go and take a look. Look around if you want to. Now, there is a little bit more info now that it's been a few hours since this information broke. There's an article written by ktvb.com, and it states, Brian Koberger transferred to Ada County Jail in Boise, Idaho. I don't really know if this headline right here is accurate about it being scheduled, the trial being scheduled still for June of 2025, because as I mentioned in another video, we are at the mercy of another court scheduling now, so it could be sooner. It could be later on. It, who knows at this point? It honestly could be, it's a toss up. It's a toss up. Okay. This states, Brian Koberger, the man accused of killing four University of Idaho students, has been transferred from Moscow, Idaho to the Ada County Jail in Boise, Idaho. Koberger was taken to Boise on the Idaho State Police airplane, tail number N121TD. He arrived at the Boise airport on September 15th at 821. Lots of 21s in this. Lots of two ones. And we have to also remember 1122 is the address 
1122 King Road. So the twos and the ones are just all over the place. Does this pop up something else? Flight Aware landed four hours and 40 minutes ago. That's pretty cool. Does it show me this part? Oh, look at this. So this is today. This is all of the little things that it did today. I'll have this in the description box so that you guys that are techie can take a look at this because this is kind of cool. Okay. It says Captain Ryan Jensen of the Ada County Sheriff's Office said several factors were taken into consideration for transporting Koberger. First and foremost was wanting to do it in the safest and most efficient way. Thanks to a wonderful partnership with the Idaho State Police, we were able to use their aircraft because it just simply made the most sense given the distance of travel and complications that may have come up using ground transportation. Yeah, it's like six to seven hours of a drive between Laytal and where he's at now. So an airplane honestly makes the most sense. KTVB obtained video from NBC of Koberger leaving the Moscow Pullman Airport and also had one crew at the Boise Airport confirming his arrival and one at the Ada County Jail. So they tracked him from leaving to air to landing to entering the new jail. The venue for the trial was recently changed. Yes, we know. Is there anything else? So there's the airplane. There he is right there in the orange. You can actually kind of see the scruff that's in the mugshot from this far away. That's crazy. This is him at the Moscow Pullman Airport about to get on the plane to go over to Boise. Now, I can't find any video that they mentioned. I'm not digging too hard. I'm sure it'll pop up on YouTube on one of the news stations later. But I just wanted to give you all the most up-to-date information for the time being. And right now, it is 2.15 p.m. on September the 15th of 2024. But that's it, you guys. I just wanted to get this out there. And if you like the way that I present this information and give my opinion and try to teach you how to look up some of these things yourself instead of just throwing the information out there like I'm special... Everybody can get this, just FYI, okay? Please do not forget to leave a like on your way out. Subscribe to the channel if you are not subscribed already. And please don't forget to make sure that your notification bell is set to all so you don't miss any of my reactions, reviews, rants, updates, or deep dives. See y'all.